Hey guys, welcome back to the Python certification course. And in today's session, we are going to learn about sentiment analysis. So we'll start off by understanding what exactly is sentiment analysis, then we'll understand the need of it. Following which, we'll look at some very interesting applications of sentiment analysis. And finally, we'll do Twitter sentiment analysis. So all of the big companies out there, they try to understand the sentiments of their customers. They try to analyze what are the customers talking about. How are they saying it and what do they exactly mean by it? So this is where sentiment analysis comes in. So sentiment analysis is basically that particular domain where you try to understand human emotions with the software. And if these human emotions are in written form, we can go ahead and classify these sentiments to be positive, negative or neutral. And sentiment analysis is also known as opinion mining because what we are basically doing is trying to figure out the opinion or the attitude of the customer with respect to a particular product. So this is basically sentiment analysis. Now we'll go ahead and understand the need of sentiment analysis. So today, a customer plays a very big role in the market. He's responsible for making or breaking your business. And if a company is able to tap into all of the sentiments of the customer, then it could be very beneficial for the company. So this is where a company can take the help of sentiment analysis and obtain useful information which can be used to determine market strategy, improve business KPIs, generate leads and so on. So this is basically the need of sentiment analysis. So now we'll go ahead and look at some interesting applications of sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis can be used for review classification. Now there are a lot of customers who post a lot of reviews. But then again, how do we know the sentiment associated behind these reviews? So this is where we can take the help of sentiment analysis and classify these reviews to be positive, negative or neutral. Another application of sentiment analysis is product review mining. So let's say there's a company which has a product A. Now the company wants to know what are the features which are liked by the customer and what are the features which are disliked by the customer. So again, the company can take the help of sentiment analysis and figure out what are the features liked by the customer and what are the features disliked by the customer. And depending on that, it can go ahead and improve this particular product. So sentiment analysis can also be used during election times. Let's say there are two candidates, candidate A and candidate B. And with the help of sentiment analysis, we can understand which candidate is more popular in that particular area. And in the past decade or so, there has been a huge increase in the online activity across the globe. So every single second, people make millions of posts. And this is where social media plays a pivotal role. Now, social media is not just any other platform. People go onto social media and express their views. They talk about their likes and they talk about their dislikes. And this is where if a company is able to tap into all of these sentiments, it can be very useful to it. And there are a lot of social media sites such as Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. So today we're going to do a bit of Twitter sentiment analysis. Right. So to do sentiment analysis with Twitter, we'd actually need a developer account. So we'll go to developer.twitter.com and over here, this is my profile, which is already there. I'll click on apps and then go ahead and create a new application. So we have this option to create an app. And if you guys want to create a new app, you'd have to click on this, fill up a few details and you'll have your new app ready. But then again, I have already created an app with this name over here, sentiment one, two, three demo. Now let me have a glance at the details, right? So this is my app and it contains these keys and tokens. So in our code, we would have to use these consumer API keys and access token and access token secret. So you'd have to note down these values and then put in inside your code. All right. Now let's go ahead and do some sentiment analysis. So first we need this TweePy package, which would basically act as the API with Twitter. And then with the help of text blob, we can understand the sentiment of different tweets. So we'll import these two. First is TweePy, next is text blob. And then we'll go ahead and give the values of these four. Consumer key, consumer key secret, access token and access token secret. So these are the same values. This is the API key, API secret key, access token and access token secret. And I've given the same values over here. After that, using tweepy.ooth handler, I would have to first give in the consumer key and the consumer key secret. And I'll store that in this object auth. Now, 
again this auth object contains set access token now i'll given the values of access token and access token secret now finally i will send this object inside the tweepy dot api so this is how we are basically establishing the connection with twitter so we have given all of these four values and we are authenticating this api and then finally we can go ahead and give in the hashtag for which we'd have to find the sentiment so let's say i want to find the sentiment for this word avengers so using this object api i'll just type in api dot search and it contains the keyword avengers and i'll store this in the object public tweets now i'll start a for loop so i will go through all of the tweets which are stored in public tweets and i'll start off by printing the first tweet and then i'll pass the tweet dot text as a parameter for this text block function and i'll store the result in this analysis object now this analysis object helps me to find out the polarity and the subjectivity of these tweets so it has these two things one is polarity next is subjectivity so first what we'll do is we'll just check if the sentiment analysis dot sentiment of 0 so basically this is the first element inside this list so if the value inside this is greater than 0 so we are basically checking if polarity is greater than 0 then we'll just print that the sentiment of this tweet is positive on the other hand if the polarity of the sentiment is less than 0 then we'll print negative and if it is not greater than 0 if it is not less than 0 then it basically means that is equal to 0 so we'll just print that the tweet is neutral now let me go ahead and run this so these are all of the tweets which contain the keyword avengers so this is our first tweet we see that the polarity is 0.0 subjectivity is 0.0 and it is neutral next again this is the tweet again polarity 0.0 subjectivity 0.0 and then again it is neutral so you see that for most of these polarity subjectivity are 0 and it is neutral over here and for this case over here polarity is 0.6 if the value of polarity is greater to plus 1 then it would mean that it is highly positive similarly if the value of polarity is closer to minus 1 then it would mean that the sentiment of the tweet is very negative and then what we have over here is subjectivity so subjectivity basically tells us how subjective or how personal the tweet is so we see this tweet that i just needed to share with everyone how hertz is a truly amazing company and for this polarity is 0.6 and subjectivity is 0.9 and then again for this statement over here we see that polarity is 0.375 subjectivity is 4.7 and we see that it is positive and then again for this statement over here polarity is 0.0 subjectivity is 0.0 and it is neutral right guys so this is how we can do sentiment analysis in python so this brings us to the end of the session and do stay tuned to intellipath's youtube channel for more such informative videos